So as most of you guys know, I've been editing for quite a long time and I have seen the eras. The community has changed so, so much. For this video, I wanted to rank editing eras going from 2016 all the way till 2023 and just give you guys my opinion, opinion of where I think these eras should go. So the ranking categories that I have are iconic, then fun community, then the shift, and then toxic. Now I greatly think that the eras that I'm gonna be ranking depends on what fandom you were in. My opinions are gonna be different. Now I don't know if a lot of you guys were around in 2016. I mean, you were alive, but like, like, editing 2016. When I hear 2016 editing era, my, my, my mind goes to give the old Instagram logo and like the layout. I feel like this was like the most carefree era. I never really thought like, oh, I'm, I'm nervous to post this. Like, I don't want to get hate. If you made something and you were like, oh my God, this is good. I want to post it. In this era, most edits that at least that I would see were all video edits. They were all horizontal. It was videos that people would edit. I feel like people can't fathom this, but I like just remembered there was no screen recording back then. People who were getting these videos, you had to use a like third party website and like get the link for the video and download it to your camera roll or your computer or whatever you were editing with from that. Like there was no screen recorder. Oh, let me get this clip. Let me get this clip. If I'm going to decide where to put it, I might just have to say iconic. That time was so fun. I was like, what? 12? Oh my. I was 12. <gasps> 2017. I feel like it became more normal for you to use transitions. Now it wasn't, now when you think transitions, I feel like you have an image of your head of what that is. Discard it because it's not what you think if you weren't, if you weren't here during this era, like I feel like I'm trying to, I'm trying to give this to you as someone who might not have been around in this era as an editor. The transitions were not your average rotation or slide to the left. They would be like, I don't know the word, like stationary transitions. Like videos wouldn't move. It'd be like a reveal or like wipe circle and would open. It really, I'm really dissecting this. It weren't transitions that were that you would think today. This is when transitions just ultimately started being popular. But if I had to put it in a category, I'm gonna put it in fun community just because when I think back of it, I just like feel really happy. I was just getting started with editing. It was new. I was like kind of getting the hang of it. 2018. Oh. This era I, it might be my favorite. Everyone did transitions. There was no TikTok yet. So it was all on Instagram. All the things that I've been talking about, it was all on Instagram. Uh, during this time, there was also a lot more tutorials on YouTube. There was a lot more people teaching other people how to do it. it everyone was getting it. Now, if you were, if you were an After Effects editor and you had like a good coloring that like enticed people, you were getting views. I'm talking minimum 30,000. People were so active. Shadow band wasn't even a thing. Flopping was not even a thing. I feel like this time, the algorithm was totally for you. Where I feel like now the algorithm can sort of feel like it's against you. It, it almost like knew that you were a good editor. The algorithm almost rewarded you with, with getting views. It wasn't a top tier editor by any means, but because I could edit on After Effects and I sort of knew like what I was doing and how to put hashtags and I knew a little bit how to like get views, it, the views were just ridiculous. Like I expect, if I got less than 10,000 views, I'd be like, oh my God, like this edit was horrible. Like that just doesn't happen anymore. <laughs> I might have to say this is iconic. Before, if you were in the era, you get it. Funny night. Earlier, I was looking back at 2019 edits that I saved, and maybe it was just because the media that was out during that time was just so goaded compared to what's been coming out recently. It was right before that pandemic, so the shows that came out were like actually kind of good. Like everyone was doing really good transitions. And people were making just masterpieces, and people were appreciating transitions to what they were supposed to be. So I'm gonna say it's iconic. Ugh, I'm only positive for these old eras, guys. This is saying something because obviously we have other categories left that haven't had things on them. 20. 20. I don't want to dwell on the past too much, but for editing, it's going to have to go in the shift. We all know it's going to have to go in the shift. So many things shifted in 2020, but specifically in this video, the editing community very much did because this is when TikTok blew up because everybody is so insanely bored. 2020 was also the era before like celebrities were on TikTok. It was very much like teenagers, 14 to like 20 year olds were using TikTok. And so it wasn't swarmed by a bunch of marketing and whatever. Like two types of editors that came out of, of 2020, the people who came out of retirement who had been, who hadn't edited in a while and were like, oh my gosh, like uh, let's rediscover their love for editing because of boredom. I mean, boredom is what made me start this channel. Other group of editors were the people who had wanted to learn editing, but never learned and they had so much time. And so they made, they looked at tutorials and they learned how to use After Effects or learned how to use Video Star or All Light Motion or Cap or whatever. A lot more people started editing just in general. And like I said, I put it under the shift because everything changed from then on because TikTok became, well, an app that people actually used. I have one grievance from this era. Well, it was fun. I hated, hated, hated how the iconic, not even iconic, just editing songs that I had loved from 2016 through 2018 um, that I'd made edits with in the past had started to become popular on TikTok outside of editing. And then people were calling it a TikTok song. Ugh, it still makes me so 
mad. A song that is so popular now for editors and not editors is Another Love by Tom O'Dell. Literally was my favorite, favorite song. The first song I ever added to my playlist on Spotify. It still is my top favorite song. I remember this so vividly. It was 2020 and I hear my, my, my brother is walking in the kitchen and he's singing like, Another Love. I'm like, how does he know that? Like, I feel like only editors would know this. And so then I asked him and he was like, oh, it's a TikTok song. No, 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 no. And I'm glad the audio is being appreciated, but I, I'm a gatekeeper. I feel like during this era, a lot of people were editing on TikTok. It's been like 2021. So like people have been editing on TikTok for a good year. I was on Instagram mostly because I was, you know, I'm like a, a boomer. I didn't want to change. I was like, oh, I don't want to go on TikTok. I was one of those people. I was like, but Instagram editors were struggling to get views. Like all of a sudden, like the Instagram algorithm was so against editors. I don't know what was in the air in 2021, but it, the Instagram was just against it. And then TikTok started to arise. And so people who had moved to TikTok or started on TikTok were blowing up. I think part of the reason I wasn't using TikTok be, because I felt like the community was toxic. I, I think that after the quarantine, people were, people were mean. <laughs> Collectively, the world was not in the best mood. Um, so maybe I could blame that. But I just remember it being like kind of toxic. Like I had gotten that high of views during, during COVID. And then all of a sudden in 2021, like it, it sort of dying down, like everyone's kind of getting back to normal-ish. People were flopping, people were like, oh, so-and-so doesn't deserve to get views, their edits aren't even good, but like, it became a lot of a lot of controversy. So I'm gonna say 2021 toxic. Now, you might've had a great 2021, I don't know, but I personally felt like it was pretty toxic. 2022, I feel like it became, the toxicity, still relevant, still prominent. Auto bandness got a little bit better, and it was still similar editing styles from 2021, but velocity, velocities became the way, the the way of editing um, on TikTok specifically. Instagram editors were still trying, but then reels came up and we we're all like, what, 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 what the f is this? And <laughs> the algorithm was not, and still is not really, I feel like an Instagram editor's favor anymore. Like it sucks. I don't really know why Velocities became sort of the like, um, the view grabber. <laughs> I think that this era, Huh. I don't know. Like 2021 and 2022 sort of blend together to me as being sort of like the shadow band era. So people starting to do velocities to blow up. Like that's how I see it. The last category it sounds so bad, but this is what I think 2023 editing. I think it's the year of templates and AI. Oh, I hate to say it. This is the age where not as many people are making their own stuff, where technology is getting to a point where it can do a lot more than humans can. And so people have been taking advantage of that, which I don't blame them because it's convenient, but it's just, Editing is losing that art, I feel, of people wanting to learn how to do graphs and transitions and wanting to know how to do it themselves and understanding like why exposure would do this to this. Like, I don't know, there's less of people wanting to actually learn and more people wanting to have the best and templates that are already made look better than what they know. So people will just make a template. I think we could put this 2023 under a shift because um, that's the, this is the year of, of AI and thing in rob and robots being able to make edits um, by the click of a button. All you gotta do is add photos and videos and boom, it's got transitions for you. It's got everything for you all on your phone. People don't have to do anything and it makes me sad. So that's why I try and give people tutorials on how to edit so then people can learn to love it and do it themselves. That was a really oddly um, sad way to end this <laughs> this video. I feel like these, these eras fit in multiple categories. Um, this is my opinion. These are my experiences with it. Um, but this is a little chart. If you don't agree, you're right to disagree. Um, it's just my opinion. But um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if there's anything else you want me to rank editing related, um, I'd love to hear it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.